We're sitting in Hero Select, and we look at Swag and Forgy, who haven't selected yet, and we tell them both that we need damage. While at the same time, they both hover Shrek, and a little bit of smack talk breaks out on who plays the better Shrek. And in good fashion, I was not about to let this slide. This, ladies and gentlemen, called for a 1v1. This called for a battle of the Shreks. This is Swamp Wars. Now all good swamp battles begin with a ceremonial dance of the warriors. It is done out of respect for the opponent. Alright, round one breaks out here, and now each round goes by level, so they will be scaling up her talent, and uh, as you can see at level one, really killer display of intuitive gameplay here, ladies and gentlemen. But oh, oh, his swag's getting low! Oh, but the Frost Wolf healing takes! Oh! Then round one goes to swag with the retreat BM. That was crazy! Now we head to lane with our Sylvanas crew soaking experience. Round two, and as the talents begin to come in, so does the gameplay scale up, and it seems that we've just got a battle of the healing right now. Oh, both Envenoms come out on 2-4G and Swag. Seems like the healing is just keeping up with the Frost Wolf Resilience stacking off of both the W and the Q out of both of them, but the Wind Fury chased down from Swag. The both roots will land, but it seems like Swag gets the better exchange there. He's chasing 4G around the Fog of War, and the Wind Fury comes out once again. It seems, oh, but the Lightning will bring him low, and there's the tap! Round three will introduce ultimates to the table here, so we've started them both on either side of the map so that it does not open with sundering. As we can see, 4G is rocking the fog of war here, hiding in this bush, but Swag makes his way down. Will he find it? Oh, oh, Vec! Vec alert! That might be an aimbot, but the, the root is returned. Oh, there comes the first sundering. It seems to have interrupted 4G's, and Venom comes out. He's making his way around the fog of war, and Block is out, trying to alleviate some of that auto attack damage chase him down. It seems like only a matter of time for the next engage. The root lands, but it seems like, oh, oh, the sun ring comes out. That's going to be it. Oh, and Forgy takes it. Two to one headed into round four, and it seems like Swag is itching to shut this one out, but Forgy is putting up a fight as Sundering has entered the, the mix of abilities in use. The poke comes out from the queue, and they both seem to be testing each other's limits, testing who will make the first strike, see who can outlive and prosper. Things are, uh, really heating up here as you can see. Oh, but Swag gets sight and he's chasing him around the fog of war. There may be a root. The root comes out, but the root is returned. Wind Fury comes out and there's the Q and Venom comes out onto Swag. Almost leaves the boundary of the arena there for a moment. Now Block is back up on 4G, both waiting for Venom to take away. Seems like the fog of war has resumed. Both of them still have their sundering up as they make their way back into the middle of the map. Oh, the root comes out and it lands the Q exchange, but Swag misses his root. Oh, Sundering comes out, stuns him around the Fog of War, and it seems like, oh, but the healing coming out of Wind Fury may just save him. It looks like he's going to, oh, the Fog of War exchange once again. Coming around, oh, the Mist Root is going to be huge. Oh, my God, the Q-Tap. What? Are you kidding? The fifth and final round is upon us. The score locked two to two. This is for all of the marbles. Who the better Shrek is? It seems 4G is really rocking the boundaries of the map here. Swag is hiding in the Fog of War, waiting, waiting for his prey to show. Once again, he's just hooking his way around. Oh, both roots will miss here. That is huge for the Frost Wolf Resilience. It seems that Swag has a little bit of poke on him. But it seems that Forgy is also waiting incredibly patiently. He knows that he's had the edge with both Sunderings in these past two rounds. Swag gets the root, though. The root is returned, but the Frost Wolf stack's coming out. The Blood for Blood will take him on the Sundering and the Envenom. Now, that seems like more of a defensive Sundering there. Swag will not be in any pressure from that. Forgy still can turn this around very easily. The block is blocking. Oh, my! What the fuck? 